And here we are, a complete tutorial on taking a touch. This tutorial will be broken up into 11 segments. It's what not to do when taking a touch. It's taking a touch into space, taking a touch away from defenders, how to draw a defender out with a touch, taking a touch inside the bots, taking a touch to set up where you need to go next, fate shot stop tutorial, skill move touches, boosted knock-on, knock-on touch, and the deep touch. First up, what not to do when taking the touch. The first thing has to be you must not take a touch towards a defender. If you take a touch towards a defender, your failure is almost certain simply because the player will not be able to protect the ball sufficiently enough. And people fall trap of focusing too much on defenders when they're building up, hence they naturally take the ball first time towards the defender. No, 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 you need to focus on the space. The next aspect that you need to take into consideration on what not to do when taking the touch is holding sprint. You see, if you hold sprint when you take the ball in, the touch will be way too large and he will not caress the ball in as he receives it in. It minimizes any control you have of the ball and in general, it doesn't allow you to control it. So take your hand off R2 or RT. Next up is taking the touch towards the space and a very crucial tip that I can give you in terms of taking the ball to space is to look at the space. You see a lot of people they focus too much on what other attackers are doing or what on the defenders of the opponent is doing and this will hinder your ability to always take the ball in the right direction. No, you need as you take the ball in to take it towards the space and hold the left end log stick towards that space. And next up is taking it away from the defender and I say that because you may be taking it to space, you may be taking it somewhat away from the defender, but if the angle is not completely 180 degrees towards the defender, what will happen is he will be able to wrap his foot around you and get the tackle in. And this won't allow you to sufficiently take a touch away from the defender. You need to always take it into the direction that's going to have your back to the defender so that you can protect the ball, tap shield if need be, and then go. And that brings me into taking a touch away from a defender to drag them out. You see, if you take the ball away from the defender and then you can proceed back into the space that's available, what will happen is he will naturally follow you out. Your opponent will follow the attacker and hence that will leave gaps and space in behind for your other attackers to subsequently run into and I find it is a very effective way of breaking down defenses and scoring goals in FC 25. So can you see how not only taking the ball to space, keeping your back to the opponent, but also dribbling backwards after you've taken that touch can actually improve your attack and create chances for you? We then have taking a touch in the bots and this is the most important thing for your attack because if you cannot take the ball to the dedicated space to either take it to the space and turn and shoot or take it to the space to then set yourself up for a subsequent skill move, then you will fail every single time you get the ball into your striker because you'll never score. You'll never get the chance to score because you'll be taking it towards defenders. And it is very important that you either take it to space to turn and faint the defender to then shoot, or you take it to the space that's gonna set yourself up for the skill move that you wanna perform. So if you take it to the right of the play, let's say, and you see space behind you, it's good space to take it to so that you can take it completely 180 degrees to you with let's say a McGee cancel or a faint forward and turn or a fate shot, anything that's gonna get an angle for the shot. So not only will it set yourself up for a shot, but also it may set yourself up for a potential skill move to create a better angle for a shot. Next up, we do have taking a touch to set yourself up for the next pass. And this is something I have stressed throughout the complete passing tutorial. In that body shape and touch direction is the most important aspect to your passing game in FC25 because of how the mechanics have been adjusted by EA to be more realistic. You cannot make passes 180 degrees to where you're facing. You need to face in that relative direction and that touch direction that you take it first time will help you with that. And it also helps you with the build up speed and build up tempo. Because if you can take a touch in the adequate direction first time and then release the ball, it will be quicker tempo 
and your opponent won't be able to react to you as quickly. So it's important that you're always thinking ahead, looking ahead, and knowing where you want to go next so that you can take the touch in the adequate direction into the space with your back to the opponent and away from the defender. Some bonus segments, including the fake shot first touch, is actually a very effective skill move to perform, or at least move to perform off the back of a touch, specifically a first time touch, because you could pass it into your striker and fake shot first time into the space to create a shot. I find it's very effective. If you perform the shot or a cross and then pass afterwards, it will perform a fake shot, and it's a very, very effective way to beat a defender in the bots in FC25. Next up is skill move touches. Now there are plenty of skill moves that we can perform off the back of a touch and usually it is a very effective way to create a gap or a space or get an angle for a shot in FC25 specifically if you're doing them as your first touch and EA did create first time skill moves back in FIFA 22 and I haven't looked back especially with skill moves including the reverse elastico first time or a fade shot first time, or even a elastico first time. They're very effective to hit off the back of a touch and to beat a defender. Now to perform those skill moves, for instance in a reverse elastico, what you want to do is enter into the left of the player with the right stick and then rotate around to the back of him and he will flip flap the ball first time away from the defender and into the space. And the same is with the elastico, it's a reverse to that. It's just entering into the right of the player and then rotating clockwise around to the back of him and he will flip flat the ball first time into space and it is so effective. We then have the boosted knock-on. Now if you do receive the ball in and you hold the right analog stick to whatever direction you want to burst into, he will burst off the mark instantaneously with a first touch and I will say it's very effective when you're on the wing, receiving the ball in with the winger and you see that space up the line. If you pass into him and hold that right stick up the line, he will then burst up it and burst past the wing back approaching him. It's very effective, good to burst through space and in between defenders. As a disclaimer though, I'll say you shouldn't spam it because unfortunately the touch is quite large sometimes and it's quite readable. So only do it every now and then, but it's very good to exploit space. We then have, last but not least, the dink touch. And what I'll say about this is it's very fun. It can be effective sometimes if there's space in behind the defender approaching you, but you only really want to perform this when you're passing into the striker and you want to burst into the space behind that defensive line. Do not do this in the midfield or in your own half because you will lose the ball. The control isn't the greatest, but you can do it when you receive the ball in with that winger or striker and there's space in behind and the defender is quite aggressive. Hold the right end load stick down, press R3, and point it to behind the player and he will dink it over the player approaching to burst in behind. So there you have it. It's a complete guide to taking a touch in FC25. And of course, I'm coaching one-on-one. -on -one. If you want me to take you to the elite division this year, check it out. I can work one-on-one -on -one with you pro player with many years of experience and of course if you enjoyed this video you may enjoy this one here thanks for watching if you enjoyed the video then i'd really appreciate it if you hit the subscribe button and lastly if you do want any pre-gaming fuel or supplement then head over to atpscience.com which is the first link in the description and use the code dylanets atp at checkout to get yourself a discount not only is it the cheapest way to get supplements but it helps me out a ton guys so thank you